So here we go. We've been pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling and we can't get our machine to start. We changed the spark plug. We changed the oil. We changed the air filter. I mean, everything's fine. We just can't understand it. What's going on? I could tell you right now, if your machine's been sitting all winter long or you've had somebody doing your yard for you and your machine's been sitting, your gas can's been sitting, chances are you got bad gas. So what are you going to do? if you got bad gas or possibly a blockage in the jet. You could have a blockage in the jet where the car bowl has the fuel get sucked up through the vacuum into the, there's no fuel pump on here, it works on vacuum, gets sucked up into the carburetor where it then gets sprayed into your cylinder and it meets with the air and it meets with the spark and those are the three essential elements that makes combustion, right? Air, spark, fuel got a brand new air cleaner, we got a brand new spark plug, maybe it's the fuel. So what's the first thing you got to do? You need to find out if you got bad gas or blockage in the carburetor jet, the main jet that pulls the fuel up through the bowl and into the carburetor. How do you do that? Let's find out. Let me get down here, try to get out of the sun so we have some good natural light. If you look right here, this is your carburetor, right? Here's your air cleaner. Did we change this in the previous videos? So please look that up if you're not sure how to do that. Um, these are your mounts right here uh, for your air cleaner attachment here. And then you got your little carburetor mounts back in here. We're not going to mess with any of that stuff, okay? We suspect we have bad gas. So what's the first thing that we got to do? Number one, we're going to drain the fuel tank. And to do that, you have a fuel line. Just about every single lawnmower that you're going to deal with has a fuel tank, a fuel line that goes to the carb bowl, which is right here, this silver thing. And we're going to clean this up in a little bit. Um, most of your fuel uh, tanks on a lawnmower do not have a on-off or an inline filter. So as you've been putting fuel in here you might have gotten some dirt in there something could have happened that transferred through the line and is now stuck in the jet in the bottom of your bowl which I will show you later or you might just have old bad gas and that if you open your top up here and give yourself a little whiff be careful now don't pass out don't get too close to it if it smells a little sweet and it doesn't smell like gas but smells like sweet some people say like kerosene, then your gas has gone bad. And bad gas is not going to give you a, a good detonation in the cylinder. So bad gas or dirt. So here's what you got to do. Number one, you want to wear some good gloves because you're going to get gas on you. There's no way to avoid it. You want to wear eye protection. You need to be very careful. No open flames. Folks, you're going to be dealing with gasoline now. So you need to check all of your uh, safety, you know, make sure you're doing good. Gas in the eye does not feel good. I know this for sure. The first thing that you're going to want to do before you drain this tank, because you got to drain this tank and then you got to drain the bowl. So the first thing you got to do, you want to clean all this off. All right. So you can do it any number of ways. You can use some water. You can use a towel. You can use some mineral spirits on a paintbrush, however you want to do it, even some gasoline on a paintbrush and brush it off. I'm just going to use a garden hose, low pressure, I'm going to get the loose stuff off and then I'll be back. Very light pressure with a garden hose, very, very light pressure. Just rinse off the loose stuff, alright. You can use compressed air, um, your, your blower if you're a lawn person, lawn service guy or whatever and you got a blower, you know, you can use that a little bit, maybe to um, get some of the loose stuff off, but you want to get, you know, a majority of it off because there's no sense in doing this task if you're going to mess up and put dirt back into the system when, sh when you start putting the uh, components back together. Now this is a very, very easy thing to do, alright, don't be intimidated because it's gasoline. This is a very simple thing to do, this is the number one thing that most of your lawn shops are going to do when you bring them their mower in the spring or bring them your mower in the spring and say my mower won't start 
it won't fire. The first thing they're going to do, the very first thing they're going to do, they're going to check that gas. I guarantee you that gas is going to be bad after a long winter. And, you know, you're going to pay a $70 or $75 shop fee or whatever it might be uh, because you didn't check your gas. You didn't, you didn't, you know, you didn't um, put clean gas in before you wanted to fire it up. You put old gas in or you had old gas still sitting there. Uh, still sitting in your mower at the end of the season or whatever. So now we're nice and clean. Look how nice that looks, right? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this hose right here. We can do it from here or we could do it from here. I'm going to do it from here because that will give me a little bit of wiggle room. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put underneath my mower, I'm going to put my catch, like an oil catch can. I'm going to put my oil catch can underneath my mower. I'm going to pull the hose and then just about every lawn mower is going to have a hole right, right down here. If you can see, there's a hole right here in the frame. I'm going to let the gas go right down here, through this hole, and right down into my oil catch can. All right, so let me go ahead and get that set up, and I will be right back. I got the mower propped up now, and we're going to use this drain hole right here, and we're going to drain the gas from right here. Now, there's a number of ways you could do this. You could pull your... Um, gas cap and use the pump action crap that you could buy off the shelf at different places you could take your mower and turn it sideways and drain it out here but you need to be careful because then you're going carburetor down and when you go carburetor down you can get motor oil transfer into your carburetor and that could be a problem so we're just going to do it little old Betty way we're just going to pull this off right here we're going to use a pair of pliers and you squeeze this and this together and that will loosen the, the little um, bracket up and you back this off and you pull the hose off and then you can drain it right down into the little gully here and it'll go in that hole and into my oil catch once this is completely drained then we move into the carburetor we got to drain the fuel out of the car bowl inspect the, the main jet to make sure that we don't have dirt blockage in it put it all back together put clean gas in it and we're gonna be good to go so let's do it so you see this right here See this lower one and this top one? You squeeze these together and that makes it loosen on the hose and you wiggle it off, all right? So that's how that works. Try to get you close. Try to get you in. You guys can see what's going on. Pair of pliers. Squeeze them together. Wiggle it back. There you go. Now the now that's loose. Okay, that's your little clamp. That's the word I was looking for. I'll pull up my sleeve a little bit here. Try to avoid the camera. Let's see if we can't. There we go. A little twist to break it free. And back it off. And let it drain in the gully. Down the hole. Just like we wanted and into the oil catch. So we are now draining the fuel out of your catch can here. Or, I'm sorry, out of the gas tank. The lawnmower's gas tank. See? See the hose? See how that works? And it's going into that little hole and into the oil catch where I will then get it recycled. So, we'll let that drain for a few minutes and I'll be right back. Alright, so we are done. Uh, we are drained out. The tank is empty. Now we have fuel in the carb bowl. That's what this is called right here. This is a bowl, okay? There's fuel in this bowl. So what we need to do is drain this nasty fuel out of this bowl. Now, there's a few ways to do it. Taking a 13 millimeter for this particular model, make sure because you're upside down, so make sure that you're righty tighty lefty loosey okay it's turning to the left lock it on the bottom there's a bolt down at the bottom underneath the bowl brake torque on it and what will happen is you may start getting depending on the configuration you may start getting fuel draining out yep we are right there we're draining the bowl the car bowl is draining you are accomplishing now 
emptying out the bad gas. You can now tighten this back up, put the hose back on, and fill your mower back up with gas and go to work. We're going to go one more step, one step further. We're going to look to make sure that we don't have excessive dirt. So we're going to unscrew this all the way out, like so. And I'm going to show you guys something. And this might be really hard to see. This is the main bolt that holds the bowl on, okay? There's a hole right there. Maybe you can see that. At the bottom of the threads, close to the head, there's a hole there. There's a hole there. And then there's a metered hole right there. Now what happens is, this gets screwed up into the carburetor like this, okay? And this is all sealed all the way around. It's completely threaded all the way to the black plastic washer here. These little holes is what causes the gas from the bowl get sucked in these holes and up through this metered hole, a jet if you will, and that gets sucked into the carburetor through vacuum of the piston with the opening and closing of valves and all that good stuff. Don't worry about that, that's too deep in the weeds to care. All we care about is, is there any blockage in these holes and in this? So what do you do about that? Some compressed air, um, like I've said in the past uh, on how you clean your, comp your keyboards on computers, you can blow it out. Be very, very, very careful for blowback, guys. Don't let gas blow back in your face, all right? Um, if you're old school like me, you put your lips to this right here and you blow. And then you wipe. That's old school. Um, you could take a very small wire, very small wire, uh, and just kind of poke around a little bit. Right now, I can see through from this hole all the way to this hole. I can see through. So I know we're not blocked there, but is there the possibility of a speck of dirt right in here in this little teeny, teeny, teeny little hole that's in there? Very well could be. That's what you need to watch out for. If you got dirt that went through your tank and into your bowl, it could have gone, got sucked into this big hole here, and now in that real tiny, deep in there, deep in there, there's a really, really small metered hole. Uh, it's about half the, the width of these outside holes here. There could be a piece of dirt in there. So, if you hold your lips to it, I know, this is bad practice, guys, I know. But if you take it, I know it's not blocked because I can, I can pass air through it. If it was blocked, I wouldn't be able to pass air through it. If you take a hose, the, um, the hose on your compressed air tank, your compressed air um, little can for like keyboards and stuff, you can put it on there and, and just make sure it's blown out. If you got an air compressor at your house with the blow chuck, um, some of those come with a rubber tip that go more to a point. You could put that on there. Uh, that'll work. Um, so you see, it's very, very small. But that little piece of dirt, if there's a little teeny piece of dirt sucked up in there, game over. The mower will not start. So it could be bad gas. It could be dirt in the car bowl, in the carburetor. Uh, and this is where it's going to get stuck, right there. So if you got this clean, you're in pretty good shape. Let's drop the bowl and see what the bowl looks like. Now you really need to be careful here because you got your needle and your float and you don't want to mess those up. And here's the bowl. Very, very, very fine little particles of dirt in there. Really small. Nothing worth uh, mentioning, really. So we'll just go ahead and dump this here. Table's still draining from the water. We'll go ahead and dump that. 
and give this a quick little wipe. That's your car bowl, and then this is that little piece, okay? So this goes like this, tightened up in there, and as you see, you got your metered hole there that goes up into the carburetor, and you have your little holes on the side of it that sits in the gas. So that's how your carburetor gets fed its gas. So that's how you drain your bad gas out. That's how you inspect for blockage right there. If it's further than this, if you have more issues than this going on, then you need to maybe go to a, a repair shop and get it looked at. Or you could have the issue of your needle and seat, your float and your needle sticking. And that we are not going to get into today. That's an easy, easy thing to check. Very easy to check. But that's not going to be today's video. Right now we're doing basic maintenance. Basic to get you started so you can work. So we'll take our little bowl here. We'll clean it up nice. Give it a quick little wipe. Get it clean. And we're going to put it back together. Very simple. Very easy. Make sure that bad boy is nice and clean before you put it all back together. And all you got to do, there is no right or wrong way, just get it up on it. Get it on the seal and put your bolt back on without cross threading or you're going to end up buying yourself a carburetor. There we go. Take your time. I can't I cannot stress to you enough how important it is. You take your time. And then righty tidy lefty loosey, so make sure you got that right. And snug it all up nice. And you want it to be nice and tight. And there's a nice little seal that the bowl connects to on the carburetor. So before you put your bowl back on, make sure that seal's still there, didn't come off, didn't fall off. They usually don't. And there you go, nice and tight, looking good. And the only other thing we got left to do, we need to put our hose back on. So all you, all you do for that, put your hose back here, use your pliers and put your clamp back over. So squeeze it together, which is not necessarily always the easiest thing to do. All right, Let's see if I can get you guys a better view, maybe. Pinch, pinch, squeeze, and slide. Get that back on there. There we go. And voila, that's it guys. All the gas is drained out of the system. Uh, so just to recap real quick, you're, you're pulling, 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 the thing just won't start. You take your, your cap off here, it smells a little sweet, maybe bad gas, all right? So you drain that gas out. You, you loosen the bolt on the carburetor bowl and the gas can come flowing out uh, from right there. And also take the hose off. Can you just take the bowl bolt off and let the gas go through yes you can but it's going to take kind of a long time but you can you can let it just drain through the carburetor that way it will drain through the carburetor that way because the float is up and it's not going to let gas go through uh, until you crack that bolt on the bottom and then as the fuel goes down the bolt the float will go down and that will allow the needle to open and the gas will flow from the tank through your carburetor bowl and out that hole and into your catch yes you can do that um, but I wanted to show you both ways of doing it doing it with just a hose because you can do that um, with just a hose and not mess with the carburetor and that little bit of gas that's in the carburetor if you keep pulling 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 eventually you'll work that gas out and it'll get replaced with the good gas that you put in here but that could be a really long time so Drain the bowl, 
drain the tank. We'll do the tank first, then do the bowl. Check that jet, like I showed you, that metered hole. Check that for any blockage. Put it back together. Take your time. Be really careful with how you do it. Wear safety glasses, wear gloves. Do whatever you gotta do for your own personal safety. Catch the fuel, okay? Don't let fuel go onto the ground. Catch the fuel, do it right. Um, then put your clean gas in and your machine is gonna fire right up, probably third or fourth pull once you get the gas primed through the carburetor. All right, guys, so that is how you uh, handle bad gas, suspected bad gas or blockage in your uh, main jet for the carburetor. And uh, hey, let me know.